Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. And it's the autonomous period and qualification match number 59 here in Belleville. We've got three blue robots working, two of our three red robots working as the charge up and engaged as well as the dreadbots on the blue alliance. We move into our teleoperated period with blue up 24 to 21 in this very important early match. Eighty-three, sixty-two. that's the circuit breakers, prowling around in the middle of the field, trying to move some of those free game pieces back into their blue community. Meanwhile, their partners on the Blue Alliance, the Bedford Express, flying across the field with some game pieces. They shoot high. Let's see if they're going to score. Both Blue Alliance robots drop five in at about the same moment. 84-27, Rubble Ravens, they have a cube in possession moving back across the field. Bedford Express passes them and then works on scoring again. The technicians, looks like they might be saving some battery power for the end game period as Blue has two links. Red has yet to establish one. We've got less than a minute left. And Blue continues to pile up that score. Let's see what's going to happen here in endgame. Dreadbots have another game piece. Bedford throws one in also as they continue to pile on that score for Blue. Whistle means it's end game. Let's see what these teams can do. Basically, we have a 2v3 match here. Red's been defending okay and getting some points. Let's see if they can get both their robots up as 84-27 scores again. Two ro robots up and engaged on blue. Two robots up and engaged on red as Bedford continues to try to score and we are done with qualification match 59. With a score of 126 to 59, we have another match taking home four ranking points. Amazing.